Well, despite the cloudy skies out there, really not picking up an excessive amount of rainfall on live Doppler. A few light spotty showers possible in parts of Jones County, Craven County. Also, you go further to the north there across uh, Bertie and Martin County could see a few spotty showers. Well, look at the temperatures again. January standards. This is about average. This is close to where we were this morning for overnight temperatures as well. So we really haven't raised these temperatures all that much, but it's a lot better than they're doing on the back side of the front that is working its way up the spine of the Appalachians. Yet again, uh, parts of Texas on up towards Arkansas and Oklahoma seeing that ice, snow, sleet, wintry mix as this front is slowly pressing its way eastbound here. Some of the white you see here across Nebraska and Iowa. Yeah, that's actual snow cover on the ground and they're looking at single digits temperatures there currently and that colder air is going to find its way eventually here to us in eastern North Carolina, but it's going to be a slow progress with this front as a couple waves of low pressure travel along it and eventually drag that front across the area for us here. So again, light spotty showers as we progress on through the daytime hours today. Overnight tonight, you'll see how those wind hours switch. That's when we start to bring that front in here. We may be into the low to mid 50s around midnight and then see those temperatures fall through the morning hours here as that colder air piles in. Rain will be around after midnight and through at least the first part of tomorrow. And then again, notice those temperatures not really recovering all that much, even once the showers end by late tomorrow morning. So again, I think official highs probably occurring in the pre dawn hours. This is what about the third or fourth time in the month of January we've had that happen as we head through the day on the second half of Wednesday. It'll be dry, but cloudy and chilly with those north northeasterly breezes. Then we get another wave of low pressure coming along. Notice how much colder those temperatures are starting off Thursday morning. We're above freezing, so we're not worrying about any wintry precip in here, but we are going to be tracking those showers coming back into the forecast for us here as we go through Thursday and especially Thursday night into Friday. Future track shows maybe an inch to two inches of rainfall before this system finally pulls out of here later on Friday, and that sets us up for a sunny but cold weekend. Great chance, though, to check out the Carolina Chocolate Festival in Moorhead City if you're looking for something to do inside.